So this is a review of my Sony a7C. Um, these are some sample photos of me using it and also like pictures that it took on climbs. This is on top of Bering Mountain after, you know, um, hiking with it. And then this, this day, um, all these photos were taken when the camera was actually buried in the avalanche for like four hours. Um, like, so I got these two photos, the last one of that guy and then me ice climbing. Um, this was taken about 16,000 feet on Denali. I think it's Mount Hunter. I'm not sure, but this is one of the most, the clearest photos I got with the camera. Um, around midnight and, like, uh, the battery lasted, like, 40 hours. I, I didn't take that many photos, maybe a few dozen, but it was, like, probably sub-zero to negative 30 for the entire time. And the camera was actually on my my um, my shoulder strap in my backpack, so I was completely exposed to those temperatures the whole time, and uh, the battery lasted a long time. Um, it dropped about ten to twenty percent, I think, in that time. So unless you're literally recording video at the camera, the battery will last forever. Um, this right here was one of the worst weather days I've ever been on um, on Mount Hood. I, everything was coated in ice. My uh, I had to chip ice off of the camera lens to, or sorry, the shutter button to take a picture that day. <laughs> um, this is on Mount Baker, and then yeah, this is still Mount Baker. That day was pretty good, super clear. This kind of shows it on my shoulder strap. That's where I usually keep it when I'm hiking. It kind of scrapes when I'm uh, rock climbing sometimes. Not really the greatest, um, but that camera clip works really well. Um, this is one of the best astrophotography shots it got. That was a 20 millimeter prime lens, uh, Sony G Master. Joy. Top of Dragon Tail. The, like this is, you know, me using it top of a mountain. Yeah, so when I was climbing oh, with this ice, uh, it was on my shoulder strap as well. One thing I really don't like about it is it is the user interface is very clunky. Um, it's not the easiest, like, I think the newer versions have a better user interface. Um, but obviously, it's just basically the same sensor as the Sony a7C. So the photos are essentially the same as what you get with that. Most of these photos were taken with a Tamron 150 to 200 lens. Sorry, 28 to 200 lens. Um, F 2.8 to 5.6. So I actually did some astrophotography at 19,000 feet on Kilimanjaro with it. Um, it's never let me down. Um, it's just the lens fogs up in sub-zero temperatures if you... Uh, keep it warm like inside your sleeping bag and then you bring it out to the cold condensation will form in the lens and then you can't really use it until that essentially evaporates off the lens so these were taken um, on a safari in Africa uh, I use a Tamron 150 to 500 millimeter uh, telephoto lens and it was incredibly sharp Summit of Comment below if you'd like to see a review on another piece of gear I have. This one wasn't that good, but basically I just wanted to show like how durable the camera was and the kind of situations that you can use it in.